Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a new video for you all about how I do my makeup, uh, being a teacher in COVID. So if you would like to see, then just keep watching. I think the last time I did a what I use for my makeup being a teacher was a long time ago. Um, if you want to see it, I will put it up here, whichever side it's on. Um, I think that was a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm going to kind of update it for you guys and what I wear and what I use in my products for being in COVID. Before of COVID, I would wear like a lot of makeup. I mean, I would just like do it like just for like having fun and putting my makeup on. Not like a ton or anything, but now... Um, I've kind of went to like minimalist with my makeup um, and just at least that's what I think I would call it as um, but since COVID is here I have to wear a mask for my um, being a teacher so I don't need to wear as much so I'm gonna show you guys what I use and I think it's pretty basic um, I'll show you all the products and everything that I've been wearing and using and so on and so forth. So to start off, I do not put foundation on. I just don't think it's needed. So I just go into concealer and this is what I use. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I have two colors here just because I do have some self tan on right now. And I use the Loving Tan. It is the best. And so I have that, so I have my light one, and then I have, this one is the fair, and then this one is uh, light medium. So I'm just gonna kinda put them together and kind of mix a little concoction. And I just put just a little bit, and I put it in here, and then over here. And sometimes if I have like really veiny eyes, like I always put it up here as well, so sometimes I might have more than others and then I have very veiny lids up here so I always put them in here as well. Depending on if this is matching with the rest of my body I'm gonna go through with a sponge and just go through this is very dirty but I don't really care and I'm just going to blend this in and I like to kind of bring it down and then I can kind of see if it's kind of matching my face. If it's not really matching to the rest of my body I'll add a little bit of a light one and just kind of add them together because it might be a little bit too dark depending on how my neck is looking like because I am not going to be wearing foundation so I'm just going to blend this through Next I go into a powder just to set the concealers. I've been using this one from Too Faced. I like it just because it has a little bit of color in it and it kind of makes everything bright into here. Just making sure it's all gonna get set. Normally I would cover this down here just because it's like really red, but I don't really need to just because I will have a mask on all day anyways. So I'm not gonna be concerned about whatever's happening over here. Next, I do go into bronzer. This one is from Too Faced and actually has, let me get that out really. <laughs> um, this one is from Too Faced. This is the medium bronzer and I'm just gonna use this, finding a brush that I want to use. I'm just gonna use this from Morphe. This is the R1 and I'm gonna go around and I am gonna give some bronzer. I just like to make sure that it is going around my hairline, just giving myself some like color. And I do love bronzer, so I will put it pretty much everywhere. Going in for eyebrows, I'm going into my Anastasia Brow Powder Duo. And the two colors that I use is the taupe color, and I like to use the dark color actually. So I'm just gonna brush through and kind of sculpt my eyebrows. I like to make sure it's not anything huge. I almost make it look like there's not much into it. 
but I want to make sure it has a little bit of a color. So I like to bring it down and then bringing it up. To get a little bit of a texture for my eyebrows, I like to use my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber thing. And I'm just gonna put this right into my eyebrow just so it looks a little more thickness and then kind of like a jelly area as well. So I really like this just because I can feel it that it's like staying as like gel, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It just makes my my brow hairs just like really stay, but yet it like, I don't know, I think it looks good. <laughs> Going on to blush, one of my all time favorites is from NARS. This is Luster. The color is just absolutely beautiful and it looks really, really pretty on your cheeks. So I'm gonna go through and give myself some color. I love this because it does have like a little bit of like, not shimmer, but like it gives like just a little. I just think it's so cute. Going into highlight, this is from MAC. This is the Oh Darling. I always put it here in the normal area and then I also like to put it above my eyebrow and then here as well and just kind of blend in into it here. But I do like to make sure it's nice and like bright and glowy just because I do have very dry skin. So I like to make sure everything is glowy. If I'm gonna do eyeshadow, I always most likely do this. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Daddy-O eyeshadow color. It's beautiful, it is perfect. If you haven't tried it, please go and try it. It is so good. I love it because not only you can put just like a little bit, but you can like keep adding the color and it gets darker and darker. So I think it's an absolutely stunning product. And so I'm just gonna use this. This is the Violet Voss brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. And for today, I'm just gonna put a little bit into my crease and kind of blend it into the entire lid. I'm just gonna keep it in the outer corner and then kind of once it gets done, I'm gonna blend it in all of it just so it has a little bit of color. I've talked to you guys so many times on my videos when I use this color. It is just so perfect and it has such amazing pigmentation for it. Oh, it's just so good. And I'm just blending this kind of everywhere in circle motions and I'm gonna end up kind of flicking it out is the makeup that I wear. So I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know down below if you guys want to see a video on the outfits that I wear for being a teacher. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put the bell up there as well. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.